Hi everyone, first of all, I will introduce myself. My name is Christopher Reynaldo. This is my English project. The subject is how to make the product. I am from Stipaya Paribandu. Today, I, I want to show you how to make spaghetti carbonara. The ingredient what you need is two eggs, which is one whole egg and one egg yolk. If you have the parmigiano reggiano or pecorino romano, use, use that. Because I don't have, I just use cheddar cheese, which is, is 50 gram cheddar cheese with seasoning black pepper. In Italy, the, peop the people use guanciale, which is guanciale is Italia pure pizzic. Because I don't have, I use the chicken thigh, chicken thigh, uh, 100, 100 gram chicken thigh with seasoning black pepper. Also, I use 100 gram spaghetti. In modernized carbonara soup, they use dairy product or like cooking cream or EV cream. But I used to I used to cook authentic authentic soup carbonara. It's not too authentic because I don't have pecorino and guanciale. Uh, and and the water start boil. I will pour the fifty gram of salt. The water I use is five liter, five liter of water. The function, the function salt, the salt function is to stabilize the, the water temperature. For Put the put the put the spaghetti in in the pot with a twist and release. I use the twist for my pasta. Why I why I use to why I use too much water because. I want to spaghetti is dancing in the pot. If your if your water is too much, it's not much uh, like mine. Your spaghetti not not dancing is and it's stuck together. Stir it for second. Because I use dry pasta, it take it take ten minutes. Take like ten minutes, but I will I will cook like eight minutes and two minutes in the pan. The next step is mix mix the egg mix the egg and the the cheese. Mix you must to mix it. Why I use uh, one whole egg and one egg yolk? Because I need the thick consistency to my carbonara. By the way, the by the way, if you make the carbonara, is little bit tricky because if you do a mistake when when you emulsify the the sauce, if your pan is too heat, the carbonara will be scrambled. But make sure your pan is not too heat. I put the spaghetti in minute 50 and I will take it the spaghetti like uh, 50 egg minute uh, in minute 50 egg. I just I just boil exactly like uh, 8 minute 
because I don't want the I don't want the spaghetti overcooked. You must to prepare the pan. We will saute salt, the chicken. Put the put the oil. If you have the oil, oil you see, use that or uh, some something like that. You see that the spaghetti is dancing in the water. You must to cook like that. Now we salt saute the chicken. By the way, I will, for your information, the cutting method I use to cut the chicken type is cube. The chicken finish and and I will I will take the the oil the oil to the carbonara paste. You guys will think the the egg is not cooked, but I will cook the egg with with cooking technique uh, called called the Obang Mali. It's like a double boiler. Yeah, you guys, you must to see. Mix it. I will I will take the pasta water, little bit pasta water to the carbonara to the carbonara sauce. Stir it. Use your napkin because it's hot. And stir it. If the egg start to start to creamy, is it's time to egg to be cooked.
Be careful. You don't want to burn your napkin. It's take a few minutes, just wait until the egg start to be quick. Just remember your your carbonara sauce cannot be so cooked because you want to be creamy. Look that it start to be creamy. You want you want to cook like that. And if you you can you can put the little bit of black pepper in your in your chicken side. And we will see. It's just the carbonara is the spaghetti is cooked. Put the put the spaghetti. Open, use the boss, the small, the small kit. Stir it. Or oh, you you can use uh, the technique like this. Double boiler or barman. You sit a bit of your pasta water. Why you need the pasta? Why you need the pasta water? The what? The pasta water help you to help you to emulsify this. This. You is help you to emulsify the carbonara. The carbonara because the carbonara. This means for it. And start to stir it. Remember, the pan is cannot to be hot. The pan is cannot be too too hot. If the consistency of sauce is too thick, you can use it again with a bit of pasta water. Cook the cook, 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 cook until become creamy.
Yung kapa na nga, isa yun eh. Kapa na nga, isa yun eh. I will teach you how to, how to fighting the spaghetti like a professional. Put the red up. Twist your spaghetti. Twist, 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 and just twist that. Twist. Twist like that. sauce you must do not waste the sauce because it's super super creamy and tasty you guys will you guys will ask we will ask to me why why you can call the carbonara is tasty because you use the egg you use the use the egg Use the white pepper, use the fat, the fat from chicken thigh, and, and, like, and you, and, like I said, I salt the, I salt the pasta water. It's so, it's, it will be to, will be tasty. That's it. This is your carbonara, ready. And you can, you can garnish, like, you can garnish with black pepper one. Tasty like that. And you guys cannot, you, and you, and you guys can test the carbona whatever you want. That's it. That's it for... That's it for today. I will, and the next the next video I will I will teach you how to make al aglio olio pepperoncino, which is mean which is mean garlic and oil and chili. That's it.